Hi everyone, it's Mike, and in this video we're going to make a new sequence in Avenger 2. So let's get started. So if we want to start with a blank slate, so let's go to Menu and Initialize and Yes. Okay, and we have OSC1 here, so we're going to use that in a minute, but for now we're going to choose a drum pattern. So let's click on Drums, and we've got some new drum kits in Avenger 2. I'm going to go with the first one, which is Beta. And we've got drum SQ turned on, and let's just play a note down here. So we've got the drum pattern playing. The drum pattern looks like this, and we have OSC1 playing as well, so let's just mute that for now. Okay, so I like that drum pattern, let's go with that. So let's go back to OSC1, and let's rename it to bass. And let's choose a new bass sound. So let's go to Samples and Factory 2. And there's a bass guitar 2. So let's try that. So it's very deep when I play the C down here. You can hardly hear it. So let's increase the transpose. Let's go to 24. Sounds good. Let's go to ARP1 and turn it on. And because we're playing a bass, let's go to fixed note and change it to chord detection. And let's try that. Sounds nice. Let's try it with the drum loop. Sounds cool. Bit low volume. Let's increase the level. Okay. So let's add a new part. We're going to go to the plus icon and we're going to choose a new sound. So clicking on the saw and samples factory two. Let's have a look through this list. Quite a few new sounds here. Let's go to bell key. Let's solo it so we can hear it. Okay, um, well, let's make a new ARP. So let's go where it says ARP1 and add an ARP2. Let's go up here to ARP1 and change that to ARP2 and turn it on. And let's play a chord. Okay, so we've got a up arpeggio pattern. Let's go to mode and poly to get a chord uh, sound when we play a chord. Okay, let's um, take some of these notes away so it's not just one constant running line. Sounds pretty cool. It's a bit deep, so let's increase the transpose. Let's try that. A little bit quiet, increase the volume. Cool, so let's rename this to Bell. And let's go where it says Out Effects 1. Um, I want to add a new effects like group, so let's click on plus next to FX1. So we've got FX2. Let's click on Out Effects 1 and click on FX2. Let's try the new Quantum FX and let's have a listen. So that's like a delay. Let's Go through the presets. We've got accented. That sounds really cool. If you're wearing headphones at the moment, you can probably hear that noise. Let's go through the rest. That's cool, like a techno y uh, ringing phone kind of thing. Nice cave. There's a lot of presets here. Look, I mean, look how many there are. <laughs> Let's just go to um, try True Crusher. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's keep that and let's add a pad. So rename to pad and let's solo. 
and we're not going to use an arpeggiator, we're just going to let the chord ring out like a pad. <laughs> Let's change the sound, so samples, factory 2, and we've got all these sounds here. Let's have a listen to Yam SK30 strings 2. Nice, a little bit deep. So 12 semitones, one octave. Cool. Let's go for that one. So that's pretty playable, I like it. Let's add a lead sound. So plus, and let's call this lead. And let's have a listen to some of those new samples again. So let's just mute all of these, or just solo the lead. Actually, that's easier. Let's go to uh, samples. Oh, I break reminder. Samples, and factory two. So we've currently got the preview on. Every time we click a new sound, it will preview. The metronome's just started playing. Uh, let's turn that off so we can just go through. Um, let's try Super Saw. Hmm. What will go nice with this? Maybe something like not a saw or a pad or a bell, so something that will stand out. Maybe a... What's this? Sarimba? Hmm, let's try violin group. You can really take your time and go through and, you know, find the right sounds, but let's try e piano, thunder lead, um, M tech lead one. Lead Dewey, <laughs> stack. Maybe that one. Let's, okay. So let's take the solo off and play a chord. So we've got the lead <laughs> making a noise in the lower section. So we need to go to zones. So let's go to zones. And everything apart from lead, we're going to move down to F sharp 1. And for the lead, we're going to go up to G1. Let's take solo off. Let's play now. Let's make the lead higher, transpose up to 12, let's go. Okay, let's um, go to Bell, and we've got out of X2. Let's try adding a mini chain to this to give us a side compression or side chain compression effect. And let's do the same to the pad. Let's change that to FX2. We want to try a new drum kit, so let's just go through the list. So let's keep the beta sequence, but let's change to a different sound. So press the padlock icon, 
and we can go through the list of different sounds. Which one did you like best? Okay, let's go with the Maltech kit for now and let's just go back to the lead. We can add some reverb to the lead sound. Okay, maybe we want to just Choose a whole new drum sound, so let's go to sequence, take the padlock off, let's try Cyber Kit 1. Deep Tech. Drum and bass. Let's just have a listen to the bell. And the pad. Okay, the pad. Maybe I'm going to add a EQ to the pad. So let's make a new effects track um, and go to Out Effects 3. Let's keep the mini chain. Doesn't really matter about the quantum effects on the pad, it might have just kind of complicated it anyway. So let's go to the mini chain. <laughs> And let's choose an EQ. Let's just solo it. And let's choose an EQ preset. Where we can take a lot of the bass out. So let's try telephone bandpass. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, like that sounds clean. Okay, let's play a song. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and also there are some guitars. Let's go to multi-loops, and we don't have any new guitars with Avenger 2, I don't think. But we can try electric guitar from the Avenger 1, you still get all the original Avenger sounds. Okay, let's rename it to guitar. Okay, so say we want to save the sequence, we go to menu and save as, and we'll call it funky pop. And it'll save into the sequence folder here, user. <laughs> Okay, that's how you make a sequence in Avenger 2. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.